newly released data showing catalytic converter thefts on Long Island skyrocketed last year, more than quadrupling from the previous year. And now, as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, there is a high profile call to bring in more focused federal help. It's roaring. It's like a helicopter instead of a car. A sinking feeling as Matt Gitto of New Hyde Park turned on his car, realizing his catalytic converter was ripped out. So it was around $2,400. Um, I didn't have my car for a week. And yeah, uh, Definitely a hassle. A maddening crime nationwide, but in Nassau, newly released numbers show an out of control spike. Just one theft in 2019, since then, an exponential rise. Suffolk numbers also spiked more than five fold. It's cut off with a, uh, a sawzall in the morning hours and with about 15 seconds underneath your car. Thieves have discovered the soaring value of precious metals inside used to clean the exhaust. They pulverize, then sell the rhodium, palladium, and platinum. These materials are incredibly valuable, so we're talking about millions of dollars that we were able to recover here in Nassau County. Following a large seizure of cash and converters last month, thefts are down slightly this year, but the investigation suggested an organized ring. Not individual thefts, but thefts prompted by rings, because where else are these guys going to sell these catalytic converters with these rare materials? They don't just go on some street corner and say, I got some palladium. Do you want to buy it? Senator Schumer is asking the Department of Justice to form a designated task force. In this letter to the U.S. Attorney General, he requests a response team be sent to Long Island to bolster local police efforts. I make these requests occasionally when things are getting rougher, and they are, as you've seen here. There is a push in the auto industry to make the theft and trafficking of converters of federal crime and require new vehicles to have the VIN number etched into the converter to allow better tracing. Gitto is signing up for VIN stamping. Every time I start my car, I'm kind of holding my breath a little bit. Because for now, he knows this can happen again. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And police are advising you to use some common sense. Park your car overnight in a well-lit area if you can and up the driveway if you have one to better protect yourself from catalytic converter theft.